Yo, what's going on everyone? Cruz here and guys in today's video I'm going to be going over every single new leak that we have for tomorrow's update inside of pet catchers So this video is probably going to be kind of long So I will have timestamps down below because of the amount of leaks that we've gotten over the past two days have been absolutely insane So I'm going to be going over new pets new items a new possible event um, a different change to the mythic pet so we don't have to collect up to eight of the same pets like a DDG just to get one mythic and a lot more. So to start off the video, we're actually going to be taking a look at the pets first. Now quickly, I do just want to let you guys know, keep this in mind, not much of the pets actually have a full texture to them. These are just going to be the models, that's why they will be white in the video. Now the first pets I want to go over is actually going to be this weekend's event called the Bruh Invasion. So the first pet we're going to be taking a look at is going to be called the Mythic Bruh Wisp. The second pet that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be called the Heroic Bruh. And the third pet that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be called the Long Bruh. Let me know what you guys feel about these pets in the comments down below. Me personally, if you want my honest opinion, I just don't like the Bruh pet in general, and I don't know why they keep re making remakes of them, but that, that's just my personal opinion. Now, the next two images I'm going to be showing you guys is actually going to come from the contest winners. These are going to be the two new pets that are going to be coming out with the next update. Now, keep in mind that these names are going to be different, but the first concept winner I want to show you guys is going to be called the Summer Solstice. And the second screenshot I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be called the uh, Malevolent Cosmic. Now the next pet I'm going to be showing you guys is actually going to be the Summer Solstice, but like I said, these pets are going to be called a different name, and this pet's name is going to be called Firewings, and not all the parts will, uh, will load according to the leaker. Now the next pet that we have is going to be called Dragon, and this pet just looks absolutely uh, insane in my opinion. Again, not all the parts will load according to the leaker. And then for the last pet I'm going to be showing off, this pet is absolutely insane and I'm most definitely going to be grinding for it. It's called the Infinity Wisp. Now keep in mind, all parts won't load for a third time, but even so, this pet just looks insane. Now for the last pet, this pet isn't really anything special. I don't know what it's going to be, but this pet is called the Paradise in a Bottle. Alright guys, so the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is going to be new visual effects and I'm going to be talking about the new item that we're going to be getting. Now the reason I want to bring up visual effects first is because we're actually going to be getting something called normalized pet sizes. So for all of you Pet Catchers fans, you've probably noticed one of the most annoying things when it comes to the game is when you equip like all these pets, for example, in like the Robot 2.0, for example, it's just like absolutely massive in size i have really good news because we're going to be able to normalize our pet sizes which is going to make our pets a lot smaller including the lord shock which i'll be showing you guys the screenshot on screen now now the last thing in this category i want to go over is actually going to be a brand new book and this pet is called evolve now we currently have no idea what this book does so far but i mean it might evolve our pets uh, again i'm not 100 percent sure it may have something to do with mythics possibly but um all we have so far on it is just the name and the image the next thing i'm going to be covering is going to be my personal hell and that is because of the amount of editing i'm going to have to do for it and that is going to be the all new screenshots that we got when it comes to messages so the first message that we have comes from one of the developers, and it says older mythics will come in batches over time, so stuff like Bongo Kitty, etc. won't be this update, but probably the one after or later. I'm aiming to have mythics for Atlantis Part 1 and above done for when mythics release. So he's kind of just saying that Atlantis is probably going to be the only one so far that is going to be getting the mythic pets, but later on down the road we will be getting a bunch more. Now the next thing that we're going to be talking about is going to be the brand new, um, I guess, Mythic Pets items called the Mythic Shard. And you need eight of these items to turn a pet into the Mythic version. So everybody was kind of assuming that you needed eight pets, and that's what they were originally going to do. But like one of the developers stated, nobody wants to sit there and farm for eight DDGs just to get one Mythic Pet when all those DDGs stack on top of each other is just going to do more damage than that Mythic Pet to begin with. So this new item is going to be called a Mythic Shard, and somebody asked Isaac, also, the, for Mythic Pets, will there be any way to convert them back to normal? Isaac stated, no, Mythic Pets will require multiple pets to make, as well as Mythic Shards. 
So we're still going to need to use some of our pets, but just not as much as we originally needed to in the beginning. And that's probably one of the best things he could have done, because again, nobody wants to sit there and farm. Now to follow up this message, um, one of the developers said multiple shards you get from quests, so he's talking about the shard some more. Then somebody responded, OMG, Isaac drop leak, and then the developer um, responded saying, oops, I leaked it. Then the next thing I'm going to be covering, um, I'm not going to throw up all the images on screen other than the one that, like, explaining this because, one, the editing is going to take too long, and two, it's just, like, I, I don't really understand what he's trying to say here. But uh, the developer of Blizz said, um, it's a unique concept that isn't just feed pet treat and hope for X chance. And then he said, he responded to somebody saying, yes, but I will believe we are removing the pet from the quest line, which he's obviously talking about this pet over here, these pets over here, they're going to be removing them. And the next thing that he said is it will be because somebody asked, please make it hard, but not possible or make it possible for bad players, which he's talking about um, making these pets a mythic. And then this is going to be the image on screen I'm going to be showing you guys. Again, if you understand what this could be, please let me know. Because I've talked to multiple different people in the community, and they have no idea what the developer was talking about here. So feel free to let me know in the comments. And the next screenshot that I'm going to be covering here, I've actually already stated in the uh, towards like a little bit ago. Um, one of the players says, feels more rare to be honest, but we have to see how it's uh, incorporated. And then Blizz responded saying the old mythic method was made inaccessible for the average player who doesn't want to spend all day trading for eight elders, which just makes perfect sense. Now probably the most important screenshot, which this is probably going to disappoint majority of the community, but you've got to remember one of his developers is on vacation currently, and you can't really like pump out this much content with only like two developers. So Isaac stated, he said, hey, I wanted to give everybody a heads up about the future update plans. This week is going to have brought invasion of the festival. All the secret pets are being rotated in festival and, and in Atlantis, as well as new shop items to purchase with shells and a new quest line. This update was going to have mythics as well. However, this is being pushed to next update as one of the developers is on vacation and is too complicated to add myself. He's probably talking about Blitz here. If I had to assume, I could be wrong. Next update will include the Trading Plaza expansion as well as Mythic. So the next update that we're going to be seeing probably in around a week or two from now, possibly three weeks, is not only going to bring Mythics to the game, but it's also going to bring the Trading Plaza. Also, for all of you guys that do like your milestones, such as myself, Isaac did also state that there are going to be new milestones, but it's going to be for playtime. Now the next screenshot that we have is Isaac asking in the Discord, should we bring back the UFO for Bra Invasion event at Festival? It would be earnable through bosses and minigames. If we bring it back, I'll buff the speed to be as fast as the seahorse. Let me know. And at the time of that screenshot, the votes had 87 yeses and 3 noes. So expect to see the UFOs return sometime within the future. Now for the last image, this is actually just going to be the summary and what's going to be in the description of the game. We're going to be getting a new Bra quest line, new global secrets, new festival secrets, new Atlantis secrets. We're going to be getting playtime milestones, new shop items, UFO mount is coming back, possible fishing talent tree, and QOL changes. So we're going to be getting a bunch of different stuff in this update. Like, I think this update is going to be absolutely insane. It's kind of sad that we're not going to be seeing Mythics, but at the same time, I can kind of understand because it's currently, like, what, a two, three-man development team, and they're already pushing out so much content. So let me know if you guys are going to be grinding this event sometime tomorrow. If you guys are, make sure to hit the like button commenting down below. Also, what are your guys' thoughts on the pets? I actually liked the majority of them apart from the um, bra. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of those, uh, but... Anyways, guys, if you guys are out on the channel, please subscribe. Let's click the button on post notifications so you never miss a future upload. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.